Hey everybody, so um, this is a tutorial on how to submit your residential purchase agreement via Turnitin.com. Uh, this is for the Mac operating system. I'm currently running OS X Lion 10.7, um, but I will also mention how to do this on uh, Snow Leopard. So, um, oh, by the way, if you need to um, refer back to the instructions in the video, you can view the step-by-step -step process, uh, which I'll include in the description. So, um, the first thing you want to do is to um, open up your web browser. In this case, I'm using Chrome. Okay, and then you want to type in this address right here. Okay. Um, and this is to a link to my cloud account and uh, I posted up an application called OCR kit it's one of the programs you'll need so um, you can either type this in um, manually or you can click on the uh, link which should be in the description below so uh, let's go ahead and click view That'll download it. Once it's downloaded, you want to go to your downloads folder, which um, is right there. Okay. And then just drag this onto your desktop. Once it's there, you'll want to unzip this compressed. Uh, file okay and you can use that or you can uncompress it using a third-party application or the uh, default program included with all Macs which is the unarchiver utility um, so I'll use the archive utility to unzip it and out pops the program called the PDF OCR kit and OCR uh, enables you, or OCR stands for Optical Recognition uh, Software, no, it's Optical Character Recognition, that's what it is. Um, and it enables you to convert different types of documents, such as scanned paper documents, p PDF files, or images captured by a digital camera into editable and searchable data. And so, um, you'll, well, I mean, when you scan documents in um, it's usually uh, image files I mean sometimes it's PDF but it's still not um, like uh, editable and so if you run it through the program it allows you to do that um, so open the program and uh, then you'll take the original scans you have start with the first page that you scan um, and just drag that down onto the application icon on your dock. And that will create a PDF of the JPEG. Um, or image file uh, and you want to do that for all uh, all of the image or JPEG files that you have um, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit because I don't want to do all of that although I do need to create another one so um, okay so take those files and it's probably better if you separate them. So what I did was I created a folder within a folder. So I put those into a folder and then I, you know, I named it maybe originals. And then I created a, another folder and typed in maybe PDFs. Um, you know, so they're separated. But it's whatever. And um, so now that you have those 
files, open the first one up, and at the top of the menu bar, you'll see View. Click on View and go to Thumbnails. If you're using Snow Leopard, then you'll want to use, uh, what was it called? Hold on. Uh, oh, it's, uh, you'll, you'll want to click uh, Show Sidebar. And um, I posted up a link to a website which gives a small tutorial of how to do this. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple and basic, but if you're confused, just click on that link. Um, so, again, if you're using Snow Leopard, uh, click Show Sidebar instead of Thumbnails. So I'll do that, and uh, this sidebar will pop up. And once that happens, you'll take the next uh, file that you want added to this file. And the reason why I'm doing this is so you don't have, you don't turn in 17 or, you know, 20 images or PDF files. I'm basically consolidating all of the, uh, I think, 16 PDF files I have into one. So it's, it becomes scrollable text. Um, so all you have to do is drag the file that you want attached onto the sidebar image. You'll see the plus icon and just let go. Okay. And you do that for however many PDFs, images um, that you want added. And um, after that, you'll go up to File, click on Export, rename it whatever you want. So um, uh, Residential Purchase agreement, save it to the desktop, and now if you notice when we open this, it's not only the first page, but the second page which I added as well. Okay, and now that we have this PDF which is in the OCR format, um, as well as being a PDF, um, we can submit it to turnitin.com. So let's go ahead and open up our browser again. Go to Blackboard. Everyone's familiar with this. Of course, go to Real Estate. You'll want to click on Content. And below you'll see the Residential Purchase Agreement. Click View Complete, and I've already turned mine in, so it just says submission for this assignment is complete. Uh, but I think if I hadn't completed it, it says Submit, but I can't remember. Anyway, once you click Submit, um, I don't know, just follow the procedure and I, uh, locate the file on your computer and it, it should be good. Um, I'll double check with someone who hasn't turned it in just to make sure that this process works for them. But if you do have any further questions, email me. Um, my email is at, uh, included in the description. And that should be all. Um, so just a quick wrap up. The, this is kind of a condensed version of the step-by-step -step process. Uh, the first thing you want to do is download the program, OCR Kit, convert the images into PDFs, consolidate all PDFs into a single file, open Blackboard, and submit it. Simple as that. Alright, thanks for listening everyone.